Uh, good evening. Uh, before we begin, may I request our esteemed guest speaker to please turn on the video. Uh, may I request you to please uh, turn on the video or audio? Okay, so uh, let's begin. Good evening, everyone. Uh, let me first read out the flow of the program for the evening. We will begin with the welcome address, followed by a brief introduction and a video on the university. Then we shall invite our esteemed representative of German University of Technology to present a brief overview of the institution. After the representative's presentation, we shall request the resource person to answer a few questions raised by the audience in the Q&A session. Then we shall in conclude with the board of thanks. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Langston Hughes wrote, and I quote, Wow, that truly lifts our spirit and has the power to motivate us. This is what we are here for. Avenue 2021 is organized with the vision to empower and facilitate students to navigate their future and make their dreams real. Clarity, commitment, inspiration combined with a real plan will actually move you along the path to making your dream come true. It takes effort, energy, and devotion to achieve your goals. So you need to be sure of what you really want before investing your time and resources into achieving it. And as the Sultanate gears up and plans for Oman Vision 2040, may we all join hands in ensuring its glorious success. We see programs like Avenue 2021 playing a critical role in the fulfillment of this vision by guiding and shaping the future of the youth. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Good evening, everyone. We wholeheartedly welcome dignitaries from the Ministry of Education, Honorable Chairman, Board of Directors, Dr. Shivakumar Manikam, and other esteemed members of the Board of Directors, officials from the Indian Embassy, Mr. Alkesh Joshi, Honorary President of the School Management Committee, Indian School Alwadi al Kabir, President and members of the School Management Committees, of all the Indian schools in Oman and from the other schools and boards across the globe. Principals, vice principals, heads of various departments, coordinators, teachers, parents, and all the enthusiastic aspirants. A very warm welcome to all present here virtually with us for this session on day five of Avenue 2021, which is said to be a global career guidance program for nine days. This year, Indian School Alwadi Al Kabir is the proud torch bearer for this mega event under the aegis of the Board of Directors, Indian Schools in South Middle of Oman. Welcome all once again. Your hosts for this morning are Pia of Class 8 and Agna of Class 9 from Indian School Alwadi Al Kabir. Dear audience, it is our pleasure and privilege to have you all here with us on this journey of making our dreams reality. By making the right choices on the intersection point of rising opportunity and our life preparation. You are requested to fill in the feedback form, which will be posted in the chat box towards the end of the session. Filling this form is necessary as it will fetch you a participation certificate. 
For those who have joined through YouTube, they are requested to check the description box for the link of the feedback form. Where you study can be almost as important as what you study. If you choose the right university, your time as a student is likely to be enjoyable and fulfilling. Oman is an ethnically diverse country and home to a large expat population. Students in Oman enjoy an extremely high quality of life, and earning an international degree in Oman is not only about expanding your career and personal horizons, but also about having an experience of a lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, the history of the German University of Technology, or GU Tech, can be traced back to 2003, when visionary Omanis contemplated the establishment of a high-quality University of Technology in Oman. GU Tech was one of the first universities in Oman to receive international accreditation for all its BSc and BENG programs. In the academic year 2019, more than 2,200 students were enrolled in GU Tech's programs. Geotech has an international reputation for outstanding teaching, research, and graduate employability prospects, which means you learn with experts at the forefront of their fields. The German University of Technology is full of opportunities, but sometimes it can be hard to know which way to look first. Today, we are honored to have with us an eminent representative, Ms. Iman al Behri from Geotech, who would discuss about the programs and courses they offer. At Geotech, you can choose from a wide range of real-world courses and turn your passion into a rewarding career. Before that, let's watch a video presentation about the universe. some kind of a wellness studio for the brain. We will provide you with information. We will help you to transform the information into knowledge and, and also, also to, to help, help you to transform, transform the knowledge, knowledge into, into application. application.
I want to thank the staff of the Geotech, the Academian one as well as the admin. You all contributed to make out of these raw diamonds pieces uh, which are shining and on whom we whom can be proud, proud as, as uh, graduates of our university. ليس محصورا في مبانيها وإدارتها بل في بنيانها من العقول والأفكار وهو أنتم نعم, نعم أنتم, أنتم من يهمنا نجاحكم فنجاحكم وتفوقكم هو نجاح الجامعة وتفوقها الجامعة وفرت لنا فرص وتجارب كثيرة، شاركنا في مسابقات وفعاليات وتأهلنا في كل من بيروت، السعودية، البحرين وأمريكا، ساهمت في مسيرتنا العلمية وأيضا في مسيرتنا العملية من خلال تبني أفكارنا وتحقيقها إلى في أرض الواقع. Here I am, I'm doing what I'm passionate about. And also using what I studied in Geotech. Basically, Geotech uh, allow us to experience some projects uh, in Oman and work on them. I learned how to be creative and innovative, creative thinking, thinking out of the box, and even beyond that. I worked before as an architect, as a laborer, as a driver, as everything you can think of that can be done in a construction. تحت في المجال في المجال الرياضي كتجربة فريدة من نوعها سواء هنا في مشاركات محلية أو دولية شاركنا في بطولات على مستوى العالم نعم الفعل دراسة قوية في الجامعة الألمانية لكن هذا ما يعني تعاد الجامعة عن الجوانب الأخرى بل بالعكس الجامعة تقوم بعديد من الفعاليات هذا الشيء يسمح للطالب بأن يخرج من ضغوطات الدراسة اللي تواجهه في خلال المرحلة الدراسية تكلمت لي قدراتي العلميه والعمليه جعلتني قادره على تحقيق الرغبات التي لطالما طمحت لها، حيث ان دراستي المكثفه في مجال البيئه جعلتني استوعب مدى خطوره الاوضاع البيئيه الحاليه واهميه تخصصي في حل هذه الاوضاع. Where we tested the performance of this house is a really an eco-friendly house, is it really zero energy? Well, that really taught me how to be confident and how to uh, know more about um, ourselves and our own environment. That was indeed an amazing video. Dear audience, you're requested to post your queries in the chat box. A distinguished speaker will answer them in the Q&A session. Now, I call upon our guest speaker for the session, Ms. Iman Al-Bahari from the German University of Technology, Oman. Over to you, ma'am, for your presentation. Hello, everyone. I'm going to share now my screen in order to see my presentation. Can you please tell me if you can see the presentation on your screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. Then, hello, everyone. Thank you for attending today's event. We'll let you know more about um, 
about uh, geotech undergraduate programs and scholarship opportunities also for the 2021-2022. My name is Iman Al Bahri from the International Office at German University of Technology in Oman, short geotech. Today, I will uh, give you an overview about geotech in general, our undergraduate programs and also, uh, I will give you slight information about our scholarships. I speak English, Arabic, and German, so please feel free to ask in any language that you work with for you. Okay, so first of all, why Oman? A lot of people ask why Oman? So first of all, um, because Oman is very beautiful, Oman was one of the lonely planet's top 10 countries to visit uh, in 20, uh, 2017 list, and for a very good reason. It has a stunning nature and it's also very safe. Omanis are open and welcoming down to earth and relaxed. Now, some general information about Geotech. We are a private non-profit university located, um, located in Oman's capital city, Muscat, about 20 minutes um, far away from the airport. All of our classes are taught in English and our bachelor programs have both Omani and European accreditation. We have four facilities. We also have foundation program for anyone who may need a bit more background to start an academic program. About 2,400 uh, students come from 27 countries at Geotech. And we offer, um, last year, we offered only eight bachelor programs. I will go through them very quickly later on. But for this year, we have launched two um, study programs or two bachelor programs, which are new, started only this winter semester, um, 2021. So we have basically um, three uh, engineering programs, environmental engineering, mechanical engineering, and process engineering. We have also applied geoscience, okay, and international business and service management and Bachelor of Logistics and Urban Planning and Architecture Design. This year, we have launched two uh, study programs, which are Cybersecurity and Artificial Intelligence. Okay. So very quickly here. Okay, International Business Services, okay. So now we will come to why German University of Technology. So most importantly, because we are affiliated university with RWTH Aachen University in German, one of the best technical universities in Europe, for example, the leading university in Germany in mechanical engineering. This means that we teach based on the RWTH Aachen University curriculum, of course, adapted with the region. While our faculty comes from around the world, over half of them have been educated in Germany. We have also fly-in faculty from RWTH Aachen University and other excellent European partner universities. Being German university also means that we follow the ideal of German, German philosophy of education from uh, William from Humboldt. This means that teaching has to be connected to reach and uh, to research and application. So we combine, actually, we focus on teaching and application. So our programs all include research and real world application of what you learn in classrooms and seminars. Lastly, because we are affiliated university with RWTH Aachen, we are able to offer scholarships for, uh, from, the, from the German 
uh, academic exchange services. Uh, I think most of you heard about it, the DAAD, uh, to GeoTech students. About from the partial tuition scholarship, more on that later. We have uh, scholarships also from our, for our students to go to Germany for language and speciality courses uh, at RWTH Aachen. Uh, and also we offer some scholarships for students to complete internships in Germany and to write their bachelor thesis in uh, Germany. Most of our students also um, write or have actually the chance to write um, the, their bachelor thesis in RWTH Aachen. And for this also we offer scholarships which cover their tuition, um, which cover their travel expenses and the big expenses there and even for a full master's program in Germany. So Geotech is a great step toward Germany too, if that is your uh, long-term plan, but you don't speak German yet. Okay. So now some idea, an idea about um, our tuition fees. Actually, it's different and varies a little bit, uh, by programs, uh, but the range between eighteen thousand and twenty thousand dollar per year. And then with accommodation, it depends, of course, on whether you want a single room, for example, or are fine with a triple room, or it rings like it will be be student's decision, and it will range between one thousand to two thousand per semester, and including food on campus health insurance, visa, and everything, it should be no more than 30,000 per year. And all of these actually before the scholarship, okay? And for, for actually, um, for our international students, also we offer 20% discount. And all non omani students should be eligible for this. The students has to only fill out a short application form and then they should be eligible. And then for any good performing student after the first year of the academic study, uh, they can apply for a DAD partial scholarship. As I mentioned earlier, we have some scholarships for our self-funded students. These should be for both Omanis and non-Omani uh, students. And those actually can cover about 50% the tuition. So 50% from the DAD scholarship with the international student scholarship, um, these can be in total 70% scholarship, which is great. Okay, as I mentioned here, we have international student scholarship, which cover 20% uh, of the tuition and all non omanis should be eligible to apply for this. Also, something new that we offered last uh, year that we have excellence and merit scholarships. This is actually for students who are um, who are like um, very good students who have done very well in their um, high school and would like, for example, to apply for um, fifty percent or even hundred percent scholarship. They can apply uh, before the the deadline of the application for the next. Uh, As I mentioned also, we have DED scholarships for our students. Self-funded students can apply for 50% discount. We have also scholarships for writing the bachelor thesis in Germany. We have also master's uh, scholarships for students to write or to, to complete their master's degree uh, in Germany um, after graduation. And we also have excursions for students to, to go to Germany for two to three weeks uh, in the summer. So what if I want to apply? First of all, start with our online application on our website. You then upload your school transcript. And then if you have already um, the, the school living certificate, then you also uh, please apply your final grades. We will also need a scan of your passport and a passport picture and your evidence of English proficiency. 
Okay, and the English proficiency, I think um, that most of you, uh, this will be your living, uh, school living certificate. You will not have to uh, give us um, like um, IELTS, for example, or any other evidence for English proficiency. Our application deadline for those who need a visa um, to come to Oman will be July 15th. For those who don't need a visa, they can apply until uh, September 1st. From there, our admission team will help you to get the, the letter of equivalency uh, from the Omani Minister of Education, which, uh, which you will need to start your studies. We also have an application fee of 100 Omani Rial. And yeah, actually the, the, um, the application fee can be paid uh, after you have completed all the application procedures. Just a little bit about our accommodation. We do have granted accommodation for all students on campus. And the options range from single room to tropical room, tropical apartments, and of course, all of them are with air conditioning, Wi-Fi, maintenance, cleaning of the common areas, and we offer weekly trips for grocery shopping, and we have nurse and building supervisors. So it's very safe. I will show you, actually you have seen a um, video about the university, but I will show you some pictures. So Jutik has the first green campus in Oman, so we are happy about that. Our award winning male building houses, administration, lecture halls, good use. And we, have, we also have library, canteen, cafeteria, prayer rooms, grocery store, and coffee shop, and indoor sport facilities, pretty much everything you need. The amphitheater is the heart of the building and it's designed for large events. There's also another building with classrooms, computer labs, and whole floor of open studio space to be created and make a mess for our urban planning and architecture. We have auto house, we have workshops, we have history of science center with a nice coffee shop and outdoor school for facilities as well. We have also the accommodation uh, for up to 1,000 uh, 800 students and staff members. Now let me show you something about student life. So there is always a lot going on on campus. On campus with the student clubs, art, boards, and celebrations. Off campus with academic excursion and fun trips and even sometimes abroad, mostly to Germany and also other, uh, other countries, of course. I think also I will mention that uh, we also uh, have an exchange program. We have agreements with um, some universities. Most of them are in Germany, one university in the US. So JUTIC students also will have the opportunity to do a semester abroad. Uh, after completing the second year of the academic study, uh, if the student if students meet the requirements for going abroad, then you can apply. Then they can apply for um, doing a semester uh, abroad during their study uh, of the bachelor program in Germany uh, at UTEC. Here are some, some pictures for our students who went to Germany for excursions. So I hope this gave you some information about Jutic. Very happy to answer your questions if you have any now. And if you have any questions in the future, please visit our website or feel free to contact us by email at those emails address that you can see here. 
Thank you for the attention. Thank you, ma'am. It was truly an enriching and empowering session. Ma'am, may I now invite our moderator for the session, Ms. Rishan, to share with you the questions raised by our audience. Salkar, Ms. Iman, good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much. It was a beautiful presentation and uh, indeed beautiful Oman. Thank you very much. You are welcome to come to Oman if you are not here. So I'm here, but yeah, I have good experience. It's a beautiful place and beautiful people here. Okay, uh, Miss Iman, we have some questions. Mm -hmm. So can you share some more details about the campus life and about the students and about the or uh, extra activities you have on campus? Okay, so actually, uh, as I have uh, mentioned before, let me go back to these. Uh, student life. Um, yeah, as I have mentioned, actually, uh, students will find most likely everything uh, on campus. We have actually um, student clubs, for example, we have library, we have canteen, we have um, Kobe Center, we have a small um, uh, or nice, actually, it's not that small, uh, coffee shop. We have also sport halls, indoor and outdoor facilities uh, for sport. We also separate normally um, the international nights uh, each March for international students. We, all, we also uh, celebrate the international day uh, every year. And also we have some activities um, arranged most of them by the internet, by the student clubs uh, and our uh, student affairs and also in collaborate with the international office. And yeah, about the student uh, life, I think this is in general, we have, as I mentioned, also excursions and fun trips for students. We have also some trips here uh, in Oman, some of them are abroad in Germany. We have also, we offer actually also um, scholarships for this, like, some of these trips will be uh, sponsored by the German University, by the by the um, DAAD, which is the German um, Academic uh, Exchange Services. Uh, because of our affiliated university, we can actually offer our students. We because we are our because we are affiliated university with RWTH Aachen, we can offer this opportunity for our students to go to Germany even for um, like these specialty courses. Uh, I think this is in general. If you can give me a specific, specific question also, I can mention more details about okay. something and, uh, Now currently classes are going online or offline? Uh, yes, for this semester actually after uh, the pandemic, it's getting better or the situation is getting better. Um, it's mixed now. 70% uh, of the teaching uh, or the classes are teached on campus. 30% only are online. Okay. We hope that by the next semester, everything will be on, will be on campus. Okay. And for the next year, 2022, the admission process will start from? It's open, actually. Oh, it's open already. It's open. Yes, so students can apply even from now for the winter semester 2020. Okay, okay, that's great. And uh, Miss Iman, how about the job opportunities and the placements after uh, the studies are over? Actually, this will depend on the study program that student is um, studying, first of all. And also, I can say that because of the quality of the teaching in German uh, University of Technology here in Oman and the good reputation, um, our alumni are always lucky to find uh, jobs here in Oman. And uh, because as, as I also mentioned uh, in the presentation that um, Jutic is very focusing on not only teaching on classrooms, but um, they also focus on um, on like implement things like study something and um, we uh, actually focus on um, or or care of um, of the not only teaching on, on the classes but only uh, but also 
try to um, give our students the opportunity to see how this will be implemented in life. Yeah, correct. And Ms. Iman, I just got one question. Could you please brief us about the fee structure? About the fee structure? Yeah. I'll go back to this then here. So actually for students who are who need a foundation program, then the foundation program is 4,000 Oman Real. Most of Indian um, students don't have to go to the foundation. They can go directly to the bachelor program. Mm -hmm. And now actually um, students are expected to take um, 30 credit points uh, each semester. And if they take 30 credit points each semester, then the, um, the semester fee will, actually it's various depending on the study program, but it's like range between 3,375 3, uh, Omani Real until 3,090 Omani Real. And this is before the scholarships. We normally offer 20% discount for our international student scholarship. If they are non Omanis, then they can apply for these 20% and they, can, they should be eligible from the first year. Okay. okay, that's great. And do you have scholarship for the sports? You know, children who have done very well in their sports, they have gone for nationals and they have played. So, you have any scholarship regarding that? Uh, for that, Unfortunately, we have only scholarships for students who performing um, or to, who show us actually good performance in their academic uh, studies. As I mentioned also, we have here the Merit and Excellence Scholarships, which is a great opportunity actually for students who have completed their high school and they are like, um, they are, they have done very good in their, in their last year of the, um, of their um, last year in their, um, in their school, they can apply for these um, excellence and merit scholarships. So for the excellence scholarship, if the students have graduated with CBSC and got no less than 95%, then they can apply for the full scholarship. Oh, that is great. Yeah, and if they have also um, got 90%, uh, then they can apply for the 50% here merit scholarship. That's and as I mentioned also before that students can apply from the beginning on when they start their bachelor program, uh, they can get a 20% discount for the international student scholarship. And after completing the first year of the academic study, they can also apply for the DAD scholarship here. The surplus scholarship can give them about 50% tuition. Okay. And the international yeah. student scholarship and the DAD scholarship can be combined like 50 and 70 will be about 70 percent so it's i think a great opportunity a great opportunity for yes, students yes, yes, to focus yes, actually yes. on their their um uh, in order to focus on their um in their study um at the university we actually also keen to give like uh, students some motivations on um like uh, to cover some of their uh, of their tuition fees at least, and to make also the parents happy. That's great. That's great. Thank you so much, Miss Iman. Thank you for your answers. So you now are. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. We are truly grateful for your relevant, valued, and patient answers to all our queries. I'm sure the participants are enlightened and have got a true picture about the prospects available for them at your esteemed organization. Audience, do remember to kindly fill in the feedback form. William Arthur Ward said, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. As we have come to an end of the session, I deem it a privilege to put my gratitude into words. It is my pleasure to propose a vote of thanks. On behalf of Indian School al Wadi al Kabir, the organizing team, and the entire audience, let me first express a profound gratitude to His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq al Said, 
with a magnanimous benevolence showered on the Indian diaspora in the Sultanate of Oman. May the Almighty shower abundant blessings on His Majesty and this peaceful and prosperous country of our residence. We extend heartfelt thanks to our eminent speaker, Ms. Iman al Bahadi from the German University of Technology, Oman. Thank you, ma'am. The session was truly informative and enlightening. It opened up new vistas in front of us. Our deepest sense of appreciation and gratitude to Dr. Shivakumar Manikam, Chairman, Board of Directors, Indian Schools in Oman. Thank you, sir, for your encouraging presence and guidance in all our efforts. Our sincere thanks to all the esteemed members of the various boards of directors, CBSE officials, distinguished members of the MOE Oman, and officials of the Embassy of India, Sultanate of Oman, for their overwhelming encouragement at all times. Our heartfelt thanks to Mr. Algesh Joshi, the Honorary President of the Indian School Al Wadi Al Kabir Management Committee and the other members of the School Management Committee for their profound encouragement at all times. I also wish to take this opportunity to express our heartfelt gratitude to our prudent captain of the ship, Mr. D. N. Rao, principal of ISWK, honorable principals of various schools spread across the globe, vice principals, assistant vice principals, coordinators, supervisors, and the entire teaching fraternity for their support and guidance. I wish to thank each and every student and parent for their valuable presence in making this session a grand success. We are indeed grateful to our platinum sponsor, Stereco, gold sponsor, Jain Group of Institutions, Grey Matter Academy, Bello Institute of Technology, and Sri Ramchandra Institute of Higher Education. Bronze sponsors, Middle East College Oman, Thapa Institute of Engineering and Technology, Dallas Baptist University, and MIT World Peace University, Pune. Digital Marketing Partner Spectrum, and media sponsor, the Arabian Stories and Value Donors. An event of this kind requires the coordination of a committed team. My earnest and heartfelt thank you to my ISWK team behind the scene, working tirelessly and making Ebony 2021 a tangible reality. Last but not least, I thank Almighty God for making this session a great success. Thank you all. Please check the Ebony website, ebonyoman.com, for the details of the upcoming sessions. Take care and good night. Signing off for the session are your compares, Agna and Pia.